This lesson will show how to solve an application problem involving a system of equations by using an augmented matrix and then using the Desmos matrix calculator to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. You are throwing a party and have bought hamburger buns, hamburger patties, and slices of cheese. You make three different types of burgers, a single, double with cheese, and a grand slam. You want to use all the ingredients because you hate wasting food. When making a single burger, you will use one bun, one hamburger patty, and no cheese. A double with cheese will use one bun, two patties, and one slice of cheese. The Grand Slam will use two buns, three patties, and two slices of cheese. When shopping, you purchase 19 buns, 12 slices of cheese, and 27 hamburger patties. How many of each type of burger should you make? Let's begin by using the table shown below to record what's needed to make each type of burger. So going back to the given information, a single requires one bun, one hamburger patty, and no cheese. So for the column for the single, we record one bun, one patty, and zero for cheese. A double with cheese uses one bun, two patties, and one slice of cheese. For the column for the double, we record one bun, two patties, and one for cheese. And then finally for the Grand Slam, you use two buns, three patties, and two slices of cheese. For the column for the Grand Slam, we record two for buns, three for patties, and two for cheese. Now remember, this is the information for making one type of each burger. And the question is, how many of each type of burger should you make given you purchased 19 buns, 12 slices of cheese, and 27 hamburger patties. Let's let the variable S equal the number of singles, D equal the number of doubles, and G equal the number of grand slams. And therefore the total number of buns is equal to one times S plus one times D plus two times G, which must equal a total of 19 buns and therefore 1s plus 1d plus 2g must equal 19. The total number of patties is equal to 1 times s plus 2 times d plus 3 times g, which must equal a total of 27. And then finally, the number of slices of cheese must equal 0 times s plus 1 times d plus 2 times g, which must equal 12. Let's write our system of equations one more time, where the first equation is s plus d plus 2g equals 19. The second equation is s plus 2d plus 3g equals 27. And the third equation is d plus 2g equals 12. And now let's write the augmented matrix for the system of equations, where each row of the augmented matrix comes from the coefficients of the variables and the constant on the right. So it might actually be easier to use the information from the table rather than the equations to write the augmented matrix. The first row and the augmented matrix is 1, 1, 2, 19. The second row is 1, 2, 3, 27. And the third row is 0, 1, 2, 12. And now we will go to the Desmos matrix calculator to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. The first step is enter the matrix by clicking New Matrix. The augmented matrix is a three by four matrix, and therefore we need to increase the number of rows to three, the number of columns to four, and now we enter the elements into the augmented matrix. After entering each element, we click the right arrow. So for the first row, we have one right arrow, one right arrow, two right arrow, 19, right arrow. The second row is 1, 2, 3, 27. And the third row is 0, 
1, 2, 12. Enter. Next, we press RREF for reduced row echelon form. Enter matrix A. Enter. On the right, we now have the matrix in reduced row echelon form. Let's go ahead and record this and interpret the results. The first column represents the coefficients of S. The second column represents the coefficients of D. The third column represents the coefficients of G. So the first row indicates that 1S is equal to 7, or S is equal to 7. The second row indicates that 1D is equal to 4, or D is equal to 4. And the third row indicates that 1G or G equals 4. So now we know you should make seven singles because S equals seven, four doubles because D equals four, and four grand slams because G equals four. I hope you found this helpful.